here. What's going on, guys? Cheers. All right, guys. So uh, it's cold right now. I'm in my garage. It is about 11:30 at night. And uh, now let's get into the uh, the subject of this video. Why you're even meant to watch it? Why is it important? It is important because. Uh, Lately, I've been having a lot of trouble uh, coming up with content and trying to figure out a way to creatively take the things in my head and send them your way. Um, biggest struggle right now for me is uh, I'm really stressed out. Not gonna lie to you guys. Anyways, to get to the point of this video, what I wanna talk about is uh, inspiration because what I'm about to show you actually has inspired me to just say screw it um, and grab my camera and go out and film something. So that's what we're doing right now, guys. And we're going to look at something. Y'all ready? Okay. So this. Completely covering my face. The reason I wanted to showcase this photo or paint it, I, I can't really tell. It's on canvas. I think it was printed on canvas, but uh, it's like it's like a tree in a, in a field with no other trees. It's, uh, it stands out, you know, it's purple. The leaves are purple, which you don't really often see. I was in Goodwill looking for photography props and I just happened upon this. And I don't know if I can really use this in uh, any of my videos. Uh, set it down. As I was browsing the store and I happened upon it, I picked it up, I looked at the price, it was very, you know, uh, affordable. And I was like, nah, you know, I don't really need that. I got other stuff to buy. So I went and found a couple other things. Uh, I found a light stand that I needed for like five bucks. Thank you, Goodwill. But as I was browsing, uh, I, just, I went back to it. Nobody had picked it up. Hadn't been that long, but nobody had picked it up. And I was like, screw it, I'm gonna buy it. And uh, I just kept looking at it and looking at it. The reason I wanna talk about this picture is because I gained a weird appreciation for it, this kind of art almost simultaneously. There's probably some like hidden psychological meanings behind that and everything. I think in life we're so busy, like I said, with our stress and with what we are trying to accomplish like big picture wise, sometimes we tend to overlook small things. Um, for example, a whole lot of this, just on my phone, looking at funny videos or just trying to escape uh, the current situation I'm in. Lately, I've been stressing out a lot about um, photography in general, uh, how my business is going to do. I kind of forgot the reason I even really enjoyed it in the first place was to just go out and take pictures. And when I see this, I literally went out and I, I took a picture from a store. I mean, I paid for it, but it's, it's not my art, but it's something I appreciate. And uh, it made me want to go out and pursue more things that I wanted to do with photography art wise, not just making money. And I think I was getting too caught up in that. Um, but I've been trying lots of different things. I've been trying uh, like astrophotography. I've really been getting into wildlife photography and nature photography. So. I want to do more of that. I really want to do travel photography and go out and see new things and new places. The message behind this video is to, or maybe just even uh, trying to look at a piece of art you appreciate, whether it's landscaping or portraits, something that may have an impact on you. I just want you to look at it and try to pick out the things you like in whatever you're viewing. Like for me, I like how everything is mostly black and white and desaturated except for the leaves on the tree. I like how it's one tree, it's a solitary, just it's kind of alone, but it's also beautiful. Honestly, that's like the most important factor in art is that it makes you feel things. Um, and this made me feel very inspired and that will lead to me being motivated and hopefully motivation will lead to something I can create that will bring joy and happiness and 
for me to go somewhere. I don't know. I don't know where, but somewhere. This was a very odd video. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. I haven't been making YouTube videos as much as I used to. But if you guys like this, please consider giving this video a like. Uh, please subscribe. I'm going to try my best this year to make more videos. If you guys have suggestions, let me know in the comments. If you did not like this video, I would also like to know because half of what I'm doing is also for you, for you to view. And uh, I want to be able to do that for you guys. So thank you for watching everything and supporting like for the people who've been watching my YouTube videos since I've been in high school. Thank you. Uh, yeah, let's let's do something. Also, uh, I've released new episodes of my podcast. I think three episodes this year, two or three, I think. And uh, I'm gonna link the podcast Twitter down below. I don't remember the handle because it's really confusing, but the podcast is called Time for Tea with JT, yours truly, and we've released 10 episodes, or I've released 10 episodes, me and my guests have great conversations, and if you like podcasts, like getting through the work day, or you know, you just like being enlightened, I like to talk about intellectual things, philosophical things, scandalous things, and uh, yeah, I just like to have fun, so please check out the podcast, that'll be awesome. Follow my photography Instagram at JT Visuals and also my Facebook. If uh, your mom, your aunt, your sister, or any family member, they want to get photos done, uh, facebook.com slash JT Visuals. So check me out, guys. Uh, thank you again for all your support. Hope you like this video. More to come soon. And uh, that is it. Peace.